in this video I am going to talk about eight things that I stopped doing that significantly improved my life and made me a lot happier. The first thing I stopped doing was dwelling on things and worrying about things. This is pretty self-explanatory. I used to dwell on things a lot and I feel like that just creates a lot of negativity in your brain when we are worrying about things. We generally worry because we don't know what the outcome of something is going to be. We often worry about the worst case scenario. At the end of the day we don't know whether that worst case scenario is going to happen or not and a lot of the time it doesn't and so we just wasted all that time worrying for nothing. One thing that we can do is if the worst case scenario does happen we know that we can get through it with resilience and if that worst case scenario does happen it will ultimately make us stronger you can't control it either way whether the best case scenario happens or whether the worst case scenario happens it goes for dwelling dwelling on things that have already happened it's all in the past and there's nothing you can do now. The time that you waste on ruminating and dwelling, wasted negative energy and it's just going to eat you up and it's just going to make your life so much harder. So I stopped worrying about things that had already happened, worrying about things that might happen, dwelling on the past and dwelling on things that had already happened. I realized there was nothing I could do anyway and to focus on the future instead a happier future second thing that I stopped doing was comparing myself I realized that comparing yourself to other people it's so easy these days to compare yourself to other people especially with social media you can quite easily get stuck in a comparison trap and comparing your life to someone else's life, comparing what sort of house they've got, what sort of car they've got, what clothes they wear, what career they've got, how much money they've got, what they look like and it's just a very negative thing to do because you are never going to be them, you are just going to be you and so you need to focus on becoming the best version of yourself. But the thing that you can do to improve your life and focus on becoming the best version of you and leveling up in your personal development, in your career, in your life, and really working on your mindset to become happier and to stop comparing yourself to everybody else because it's just a very a very negative thing to do. I don't know anybody that compares themselves and then feels happy about it after. It brings on jealousy and envy. They are not good for your brain and they're also not good for the world. So really work on you and becoming the best you that you can be. The third thing that I stopped doing was focusing on things that I cannot change. In this world there are so many things that we cannot change and we have to accept that that is a fact of life and if we are always focusing on things that we cannot change but wishing that we could change those things that is when we get trapped in a cycle of negativity because there are just things in life that we can't do anything about and we can't change Obviously the things that you can change, you can do something about those things, but the things that you cannot change, you have to just let go of it. It's easier said than done, but learn to be okay with the things that you can't change. And this takes practice and this takes time, but you can absolutely get there. And once you do, it just gives you that sense of freedom that creates that happy feeling in your mind. The fourth thing I stopped doing was focusing on the things that I have no control over. For instance, other people's behavior. I have zero control over other people's behavior. If somebody cuts me off in traffic, that's their behavior and that's their action. The only thing that I can now control is how I react and how I then behave and act. So I can choose to be angry at the fact that somebody 
cut me off in traffic or I can choose to believe that there is a reason maybe they are in a rush because they're severely injured or they've got somebody giving birth in the back seat it might just be late for work I will never know and so it's up to me to get angry and feel like they've wronged me or accept that they've cut me off in traffic and they might just be a bit of a jerk and that's okay like I don't have to react I can just let it go I choose to in one second forget that it ever happened and not let it affect my mindset at all not let it affect my day at all one of the harder things that I had to stop doing was trying to control or help to change the people in my life that were behaving badly and they had a very self-destructive behavior you want to do everything that you can to try and help people when you can see their potential and when you can see that they are suffering and they are not having a fun time in life and they are covering their pain with drugs or alcohol or self-destructive behavior you really just you want to go in and you want to help them because you can see the destruction that they are causing to their own lives and possibly the lives around them their friends and family members and it's not nice and so for a long time I tried helping somebody in my life that was going down the self-destruct path and they just weren't ready to accept the help so eventually I had to realize that it was their choice there was nothing that I could do to help if they weren't ready or willing to accept that help there was nothing that I could do to improve their life if they're not ready then they're not ready it was down to them so I stopped trying to help people when they didn't want the help and that is a very very hard thing to do when you are watching somebody suffer once you realize that it's their life and if they want to change, they will change. And so you can let go of that. And when you stop trying to control everything around you that you literally have no control over, things like that, then it just improves your life because you get rid of all that, trying to focus on everything that you can't control and start instead focusing on the things that you can control and the things that you can do things about to improve your life. The fifth thing that I stopped doing was focusing on anything that was negative or negatively impacting my life and my mindset. I cut out negative news. I stopped following negative people on social media that made me feel bad. I stopped watching negative TV shows. Anything that I felt was a negative energy. That even includes some scary movies or thrillers. They just give me like bad energy. So I've cut most of them out. And I do like the occasional scary movie, but I find that most of them do give me like a bad vibe. So don't really watch them anymore. And if I do, I tend to follow it up with like a comedy to kind of cancel it out. I stopped thinking negative thoughts as well, which is very, very, very hard to do. And it takes a long time to overwrite your negative thoughts and the negativity bias that we all have that dates way back to the caveman days it's very ingrained in us to have the negativity bias but you can overwrite those neural pathways with positive thoughts and a positive mindset so i slowly cut out all the negative thoughts that i was having and replaced them with positive thoughts instead and thoughts of gratitude it's made a significant improvement to my life the next thing i cut out was negative and toxic people if you're unhappy with your life you've really got to think who are you surrounding yourself with because if you are surrounding yourself with negative people people that are energy vampires people that put you down and make you feel bad about yourself people that don't support your dreams and goals people that make fun of you, people that say they're your friends, you have a gut feeling that they're not really your friends and they aren't happy for you when good things happen, but they relish in the bad things that happen to you. You probably have a very strong gut instinct 
whether someone is your real friend. Probably know when someone is an energy vampire and someone is negative to be around. It's very hard to have a positive life when you have a negative people around you and negative influences. People are always moaning and complaining. People that hate their life don't do anything about it. People that complain that they don't like this thing in their life, they don't like that thing in their life, yet they don't do anything to change it. So once I cut out all the negative and toxic people in my life, it just improved dramatically. The next thing that I stopped doing was self-destructive behavior and we can all fall victim to doing this, especially when we're younger, I feel like. But developing that self-love and self-care, you can really start to notice what is good for you, what's not good for you, and stop all the behavior that is not good for you, whatever that is for you, whether it's eating too much junk food, drinking too much, not exercising, whether it's negative self-talk, or not following through on what you say you want to do. So you might have goals that you want to achieve this year, but you've not made any progress yet. You just keep self-sabotaging. And this also might be true with relationships. A lot of people self-sabotage in relationships because they don't feel like they deserve that love. So when you build that self-love, you start doing things that are good for you, whether they are sometimes hard in the beginning. You do things that are what's best for you because you have really learned to love yourself and treat yourself the way that your body deserves to be treated the way that you deserve to be treated and you treat yourself with love and respect. The last thing that I stopped doing was caring about what other people thought of me. And it really sets you free. You get so much freedom from not caring what people think about you. One example is if I cared about what people really thought, I would not be making these YouTube videos because I would just be too scared of people judging me. If you care too much about what people think about you. It just really holds you back in life and it really holds you back from what you really want to do. If there are things that you really want to go for in life, then you need to stop caring about what people think and just go for it. If it makes you happy, if you're not hurting other people, and especially if it's something that is going to help other people, you need to stop caring about what people think and just go for it. Because when that calling is greater than worrying about what other people might think, then you need to just go for it. And it's so liberating and it is so freeing. And eventually you, you might at first act like you don't care but then eventually after you've been doing it for a while then you really just you don't care anymore and so it is very liberating and very freeing when you no longer care about what people think and you can just live your life the way that you want to live it. There's nothing holding you back. It just frees you from judgments and people's opinions of you. When you don't care then you get to just do what you want to do. Stopping caring about what people thought of me really also improved my life a lot and was very good for my happiness. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if there's anything that you've stopped doing that has improved your life and your happiness level. I hope this video has helped.